Unfortunately, there is no simple reference table or calculation that can answer this question. Grinding is a highly empirical technology and we encourage people to test their materials on equipment that is close to what they would use in production. For that reason, Air Products has invested in production scale labs where we can test materials for actual results. There are several processing parameters that can affect particle size distribution. In our lab, we can vary these parameters to achieve the optimal results for your requirements. Some of these parameters may include the mill type, the mill speed, the screen size, feed particle size, the processing rate, and the processing temperature. Of course, the physical properties of your material, such as density and embrittlement temperature, will also be factors in the particle size results you can expect. We have a vast knowledge base from processing hundreds of materials for more than 30 years. We can use that experience to help you find a reasonable starting point for the grinding conditions and then fine tune the parameters and results in our lab to find the answers you need. In addition to particle size, most people are interested in determining the Lin ratio, which is short for liquid nitrogen ratio. That is the number of pounds of liquid nitrogen required to process each pound of finished product. The Lin ratio is one of the keys to determining the operating cost of a grinding process. While considering the pros and cons of implementing a cryogenic grinding process, it is also important to remember there are also other potential benefits to cryogenic grinding. Higher yield of particles in your target range, more uniform particle size distribution, higher production rates, improved product quality, and improved process safety. Our experts at Air Products are available to discuss your materials and requirements and design a trial to determine the answers to these questions and more.